Mizzou Rec Services and Facilities is a department within the Division of Student Affairs that provides recreation and leisure experiences to members of the campus community. Mizzou Rec's award-winning facilities and nationally recognized programs are innovative and bring exciting opportunities to members. But its spirit is deeply rooted in its rich history, traditions, and dedication to University of Missouri students. Many Mizzou students know a fire destroyed the University of Missouri's Academic Hall in 1892, leaving behind six stone columns. Then Missouri Board of Curator President Gideon Franklin Rothwell said, let the columns stand, let them stand for a thousand years. Rothwell also commissioned a building to house a campus gymnasium for athletics, intramural sports, and student activities in 1904. Rothwell Gymnasium on the corner of Hitt and Rollins streets was the Missouri Tigers men's basketball first home. Construction was completed in 1906. In addition to providing space for students and athletics, Rothwell Gymnasium also hosted MU Board of Curators meeting and the Men's M Athletic Club in its trophy room, a space that showcased the university's athletic championships. It was here that athletic director Chester Brewer conceived the idea of inviting alumni to come home for a football game against the University of Kansas. The first ever homecoming game took place in 1911 on the football field near the gymnasium. By 1927, Mizzou was changing, partially due to developments in collegiate athletics and a growing campus. Brewer was prompted to create a new space for his men's basketball team. As a result, Brewer Fieldhouse, completed in 1929, had plenty of amenities. An indoor track, full basketball court, electronic scoreboard, batting cages, seating for over 2,000 people, and a ticket window. The Fieldhouse connected to Rothwell Gymnasium, and it became the new home of the Missouri Tigers men's basketball team in 1930. Students saw the program's ups and downs, but game day experience in the field house was unparalleled. Hello everybody, this is Jack Buck at Brewer Field House in Columbia, Missouri, and in this afternoon's ball game, the University of Kansas beats the University of Missouri. Brother, we've got a full house here at Brewer Field House. A lot of action, a lot of noise, as you can well hear, with the Missouri band in the background. When you came to a game, uh, and when we, and this is after I came back as a head coach, uh, people got behind the teams, uh, the band, I mean, it, it just, it was kind of an electric situation. The Tigers played their last game in Brewer Field House in 1972, beating the University of Oklahoma before moving to Hearn Center and later Mizzou Arena. Basketball games were an integral part of Brewer Field House, but the space also served Mizzou students with other activities like concerts, homecoming festivities, and even graduation ceremonies. Throughout the 20th century, Rothwell Gymnasium and Brewer Fieldhouse were updated as students' needs changed. Rothwell Gymnasium was updated in 1949 and 1973, and Brewer Fieldhouse was renovated in 1975 to include more spaces for racquetball, a popular sport at the time. A natatorium was constructed in 1964 at the corner of Rollins Street and Tiger Avenue. In 1987, the Student Recreation Renovation Expansion Project added more space for multi-sport courts, an elevated indoor track, and 10,000 square feet more for weights and machines on the west side of Brewer Fieldhouse. Mizzou students voted for the construction and updated amenities, and the new addition was named the Student Recreation Center, or the SRC. In 1996, the space formerly known as Rollins Field, where the first homecoming game was played, opened as Stankowski Field. It was named after former MU football player Anton Stankowski and included synthetic turf and a third of a mile track. Despite multiple upgrades, additions, and renovations through the 20th century, the mid-1990s ushered in an influx of students, increasing recreation service usage and a need for more space in modern facilities. Diane Dahlman joined the department in 1997 as the executive director. Her leadership oversaw a $50 million renovation project changes to the student staffing program, and the department's rebranding to Mizzou Rec Services and Facilities. In 1998, Team Mizzou began at Mizzou Rec under Dahlman's direction. The student staff and development program was created not only to keep student staff accountable, but also to provide professional development opportunities. At the same time, Mizzou students were voicing concern over lack of space and equipment. Mizzou Student Association President Rob Willard invited Team Mizzou members to an MSA meeting in 1998 to speak about the lack of recreation space. Following the meeting, MSA initiated a study to explore possible facility updates. 
After the study's completion in 1999, the Student Advisory Council worked to turn the results into action. In 2001, Mizzou students overwhelmingly passed a referendum to initiate the Brewer Renovation and Expansion Project, as well as increase in student recreation fees to fund the project. MSA President Mark Bresnahan and Vice President Michael Wright oversaw the design process, approval from Board of Curators, and construction bid opening to ensure students' opinions were always considered in the plan. March 18, 2003, marked the groundbreaking ceremony and the beginning of the renovation project. Rothwell Gymnasium and Brewer Fieldhouse remained familiar campus landmarks from the outside, but over the next two years, the buildings would change dramatically on the inside. The project was completed in July of 2005 and exceeded expectations. What began as a call for more campus recreation space became an innovative project that made the University of Missouri and Mizzou Rec Services and Facilities leaders in the collegiate recreation industry. By taking students' concerns seriously, Mizzou Rec became a nationally recognized innovator in its facilities, programs, and services. Today, Mizzou Rec Services and Facilities continues to provide high-quality recreation and leisure experiences to all members of the campus community. Many award-winning facilities and nationally recognized programs continuously bring exciting opportunities to members. Mizzou Rec thrives in innovation while still keeping the magic of the past alive and placing continued importance on history. Throughout the facility, various tailored areas give members space to exercise exactly how they want to. The Cardio Gallery, Jungle Gym, and Jungle Annex provide cardio, strength, and exercise equipment, and the Fitness Showcase regularly brings new, innovative machines for Tigers to try out first. There are also free weights in our high-intensity pump room, 10 multi-sport courts, and an elevated indoor track painted in black and gold. The many racquetball courts added to the facility throughout the years were reimagined as boutique fitness spaces that could be redesigned as fitness trends change. Currently, there are areas specifically catered for boxing, functional fitness, and cycling. Zoo Life adds another layer to Mizzou Rec's leisure experience and provides health-related services like personal training, massage, nutrition services, and fitness consultations, as well as manicures, pedicures, waxing, lash and brow tinting, and spray bronzing. Even though Missouri Athletics have since expanded to other spaces on campus, Mizzou Rec still keeps the tradition of athletics alive by housing several collegiate athletic teams. Men's and women's swim and dive practice and compete in the Mizzou Aquatic Center, and Mizzou Wheelchair Basketball practices and competes on Brewer Court. However, you do not need to be a collegiate athlete to enjoy athletics at Mizzou Rec. Rec sports and club sports, group fitness programs like Tiger X, LifeWorks Dance, and Clark's Boxing Gym, personal training and aquatics program are all organized ways to get involved with sport, competition, fitness, and fun. Throughout the facility, Mizzou Rec honors important players of the past. To name a few, Stankowski Outdoor Sports Facility is named for Anton Stankowski, MU's first intramural sports director. Stallcup's Garage, our functional fitness space, is named for Wilbur Sparky Stallcup, who coached for MU's basketball team and served as MU athletic director. Team Mizzou, Mizzou Rec's student staff and development programs, has also changed throughout the years and is recognized as one of the premier student staff programs in the country. Over 700 students attend recruitment sessions each year, and for every Team Mizzou member, there are nine others waiting in the wings, vying for a spot. Team Mizzou members are the ones who make all the great award-winning Mizzou Rec programs, facilities, and services operate with excellence. But it is more than a job. Team Mizzou members have access to special staff development programs like resume writing workshops and etiquette dinners, regular feedback through Job Performance Assessment, or JPA, as well as many scholarship opportunities. The annual Spring Roar Celebration of Excellence recognizes and honors the top performing Team Mizzou members, and student staff enjoy the camaraderie and team building that Team Mizzou has to offer. Mizzou Rec Services and Facilities is a place where past, present, and future combine to create an unparalleled fitness and leisure experience. Though the buildings and their functions have changed over the years, Mizzou Rec remains committed to its history, using student voices to stay innovative and create the best possible student recreation experience.